Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we are going to be discussing beauty and makeup products. So I love doing makeup. I love buying new products. I love trying new products and I just like that I'm able to express myself by doing my makeup. And I kind of want to incorporate more beauty videos and makeup on into my channel so more beauty videos whether it's you know reviewing products or trying products or um, some kind of tutorials I know I'm not like as great as a lot of other people on YouTube but sometimes I know I like to watch the natural makeup videos and that's kind of what I like to do so I thought I would incorporate more videos onto my channel but today's video I kind of wanted to create this like a drugstore makeup starter kit whether you are younger just getting into makeup or a little bit older and just wanting to know some good products to get um, so that's kind of what I wanted to make this video for now there is in no way saying that you need makeup that you have to buy it you don't need it makeup should be something that you're able to express yourself you should be able to enjoy not something you have to have you don't need makeup to make yourself beautiful because you are beautiful no matter what so don't go into this and don't go into buying makeup because you feel like you need it do it because it makes you happy and you want to do it so hopefully this video can help you decide um, what products to buy or maybe what products to try now mind you I am dry skin I do have dry skin um, so I tried to pick products that kind of you could buy dry skin or oily skin products um, I tried to do that as best as I could okay so one of the first products that I want to, to talk about or recommend um, is a primer now not everybody needs a primer um, I prefer a primer because my skin gets so dry that I feel like I need kind of like a luminous hydrating powder. Um, it just, I feel like, makes my skin look better throughout the day. Um, so it's not a necessary step. It's just kind of based on your skin or your preference. So the one I'm recommending is the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Powder or Primer. Now, this is just, like it said, it's a putty, but the good thing about this is that there's multiple kinds. So you have the Luminous for dry skin, and then you have the Original for, you know, the uh, regular oily skin. So there are different varieties based on your skin type. So that's why I thought this would kind of be the perfect product to recommend. Plus, this is like $8 maybe, so pretty fair price. Okay, next is um, uh, your base, foundation. Um, so I'm recommending the Revlon Colorstay 24 hour. So this is honestly my new favorite. I love it. It's so smooth, so lightweight. It's just, it's a really good uh, foundation and there are different kinds for different skin types so I obviously have the normal to dry skin there is one for normal to oily so it's just based on your skin type so highly highly recommend this but for those who don't want a full foundation um, I honestly have not tried one of these that are for oily skin so I don't really have one I can recommend but if you're a dry skin and you don't want a um, foundation I highly recommend the ColourPop Pretty Fresh this is the Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer now this ColourPop I know you can't buy at the drugstore but you can buy it at Ulta and I consider it drugstore because of the price it is drugstore prices um, but I love this tinted moisturizer for just days that I don't need too much but just a little bit of coverage would be great like if I had this back in high school this would have been my best friend um, but I didn't have it. <laughs> My son is running wild. <sighs> Another thing on this channel, I am a mom. 
so you will see my son occasionally acting crazy. I have three dogs, so if you can hear them in the background, I am sorry. But yes, yeah, so I love tinted moisturizers, so especially if you're just getting into makeup and you don't want anything too heavy and you're kind of just venturing into the world of a base, then I think a tinted moisturizer, especially if you don't have like too much to cover, if you just need a little bit, tinted moisturizers I think are going to be your best friend. At least they're mine. So, highly recommend. Okay, next is concealers. Both of these have different varieties as well, so for dry and normal skin. Okay, so the first one I would recommend is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This one you can get at the drugstore, and this is about $6. So, relatively a really good price. I think this works really well. Nice doe foot applicator. Um, like I said, there is a hydrating one and then a, the, I don't know, I think it's just the camo concealer, just the regular one that's more drying so it's a little bit better for oily skin. So this one works really well. And then I also recommend to cut it, it's along the same lines of this, but it's the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. This is a hyaluronic creamy concealer as well. Again, it's, this has a little bit of a different doe foot, but I love this one as well. Very creamy. Um, they both work very well for me and my dry skin. So I think both of those work great. And this one also has, I don't think, it's not part of the Pretty Fresh line, but they have a another concealer um, for ColourPop, and that's good as well. I've tried it. It's just a little bit more drying, and it doesn't work well for my skin. Okay. So now let's move on to powder. So there's two different kinds, probably more, but two different kinds that I would either recommend. Um, either a, like a pressed powder or a loose powder. I actually used to prefer loose, but I'm kind of venturing into the world of pressed powder and I'm finding that I'm enjoying it. Okay. So one of the powders that I can recommend, um, that I really enjoy um, once again, my skin is probably different and everybody's skin's different. So if these products don't work for you, I'm sorry they work for me and that's why I'm recommending them. Um, but the powder that, the press powder that I would probably recommend is, um, the e.l.f. This is the Perfect to Finish HD Powder. This is in translucent and in the pan, it's just a bright white. It does not come off as white on your skin, at least not on mine, um, and I think this is a really good one. doesn't make me look too cakey, but at the same time, I only use it usually under my eyes or to cover any blemishes or anything, um, or to set any blemishes that I have that I've already covered. Um, but the loose powder that I recommend is the Cody Airspun. So you get this big tub. Um, this is translucent as well. But you just get this big tub if you prefer loose powder. And um, again, I only use it to set under my eyes in any of the breakouts that I covered. Um, and so this tub is like five to six dollars and it's gonna last me ages because I barely use any at a time. So highly recommend this loose powder. Okay, uh, let's see what's next. I guess I'm not really going in order. So we're just going to go with this. Um, bronzers. Now, you don't need a bronzer. You know, you only do what works best for you. If you don't want to do full a full face, then get only the products that you want. But I'm just going to kind of go through and do a full face just so I can recommend what, it, you know, any products that you may want. So I recommend either two, whatever your preference is. This is the Butter Bronzer. I get it in the color uh, light bronzer, but there's multiple colors depending on your skin tone. Um, but this one works well for me. I think this is actually like my second or third one already. Um, but I love it. It works really well. Very, very nice color. Easy to blend, easy to work with. Okay, so a second uh, bronzer that I recommend is the uh, Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. This one, I really like it. It's a very, very subtle bronzer, um, but it just gives you enough color. Um, so if you don't want like a super, super bronze look, like you don't want to contour too much or whatever, and you just want a light wash, I think this one is a great one. Um, 
it's just, I, I love it. So I guess that's all I can say is I love it. So uh, next I'm going to recommend my favorite eyeliner. I only have one kind um, because this is all I've used since I think high school. It's been over 10 years now I think I've used this and I love it and I've tried multiple and they all just suck compared to it, honestly. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. So I actually have brown and black. I love both of these. I prefer more of a brown because my eyes are blue, so more browns in my eyes kind of open my eyes a little bit more. So I do prefer and I do migrate towards the brown one more, um, but the black one works very well. It's a very nice, like, I think it's a felt tip, but it's very, very, it's just, it's so easy to use and it comes off really, really nice and it just looks really good and easy, easy to use. So highly recommend that one. For brows, I personally only use one product from the drugstore. Um, I've tried multiple and just none of them work, honestly, for me because of the shades. I have a hard time matching my hair color. My hair color is like blonde, um, but a darker bronze, <laughs> darker blonde. And I just have not found the right color in most products. So the only one that I have found that works good for me is the ColourPop Brown Boss or Brow Boss in the color Taupe. I like this one because it is pretty inexpensive and it is a smaller uh, pencil, so it's easier to work with. You can do smaller strokes and you can just kind of make the brows what you want them. Uh, to be versus you know like a pomade or something I've tried those and they just they just don't work as well on me maybe I just haven't found the right one but I gravitate towards this because I don't do a crazy eyebrow routine I try to just go with my natural eyebrow I don't have like a crazy routine so I just stick with this and it works well for me okay Highlighter. Um, this has been my favorite for years and I've tried multiple other ones and I just, just, I keep gravitating towards it because it is my favorite. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow. This is such a pretty color, especially for fair skin. It's just, it's such a pretty color. It's like such a nice like highlight right there. Sorry, this is a lipstick swatch from earlier, but that highlight is just so pretty. And on a on lighter skin tones, it's just a really nice uh, highlighter. Now, in this brand, they do have darker ones, so if you are a different shade, then there are different shades. I haven't personally tried them, but if they're anything like this, you're going to love them. So, highly, highly recommend that. Okay, I realize I do not have a blush here, but... Um, the best blushes I have found, honestly, are either the Milani Baked Blush or there's one from Essence that I recently tried. They're like $2, two dollars two $2.99, and the color was just so pretty. Uh, they just It worked very well and it stayed on my skin for very well, so I'd ra recommend probably the Milani Baked Blush because... One, there's good shades, but two, it's very, very pretty. The baked blushes have kind of like a sheen to it, so you just look bright and awake and happy. I love those, but the Essence is more of a matte blush, but they work very well for it being 2 to $3. So either one, I would recommend. Okay, eyeshadow. So I have not found much at the drugstore that I like, so I'm going to recommend ColourPop again because ColourPop is fairly inexpensive for the products that you get. I think they're great, so I would just recommend like one ColourPop palette kind of like with anything you need. So since I do a natural, more, you know, more natural, I went, I would say my favorite from them is the Bare Necessities palette. It's just kind of all warm toned, natural, more browns, more of my everyday looks. And this palette, 
I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't very expensive compared to like the Urban Decay or the Too Faced palettes that are $50 for just a couple shades. This I think may have been in the 20s or the $30 range and it has literally a ton of colors. So I think ColourPop is probably your best bet for ColourPop or Morphe, I would say. Um, but I think I gravitate more towards ColourPop. Um, they're really good eyeshadows and you get a lot of colors and a lot of different variety for the price. So I think that's why I would say they're probably the best. But that's my opinion. I know some people kind of disagree, but I prefer them. Okay, and then for me, I think that when I started off wearing makeup, I really didn't do lipstick, but I know a lot of people do enjoy it. So I'm going to recommend Maybelline. I think Maybelline has some of the best lipsticks at the drugstore for decent prices, and you can pretty much find them anywhere, and they just wear very well, and they're just, I think, great products all in all. This is the, I think, Made For All. This is 373 Mauve for me. I love this. It's a nice, just pretty, everyday color. It is obviously not the color I'm wearing. I'm wearing more of a berry. Um, I think the color I'm wearing is a Ulta lipstick. I think it's Raspberry Sorbet or something like that. I don't know. It's uh, not this color, but these I like. They're very, very creamy, and it lasted majority of the day. So I didn't think I needed to really reapply much of this. So I think that this is a really good purchase. Um, another thing or another lip product I recommend if you want to try them. This isn't, necessi this isn't a necessity. This is not something you need. But this is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. This is in Whipped Caviar. I honestly like these uh, little lip liners. They're pretty good. Um, I think they're just a couple dollars within I think the five dollar range and they're just a nice lip liner. I did not start out using lip liner um, until recently so it's not ne necessary to have but if you are looking into them I think the NYX ones are really good. I've also heard the LA Girl are really really good. I have not personally tried them, but they're only $3, so probably next time I'm at Ulta, I'm going to pick up a few. Um, but I, if, you're, if you want to try lip liners, I think that the NYX brand has some really good ones. Um, and I guess the next or the last thing that I would say is tools. So for tools for makeup, you don't need a lot. I know you see a lot of um, people online just using a ton. They have like cups and cups of brushes. I don't think you need those. Um, just to start out, you just need a few simple ones. So my recommendation would either be like the Real Techniques brushes. Um, Real Techniques is pretty much you can get anywhere, Walmart, Target, Ulta, anything like that. I think that they're pretty cost effective and they work well. These are what I started with. But recently I actually purchased a the pack of the ColourPop brushes. This was a pack that came with the Bare Necessities palette. It kind of came, you can buy both of them. And I have been loving the ColourPop brushes and they're really not expensive. I think the full kit and it was quite a bit of brushes. I want to say at least 10 brushes for like 30 to 35 dollars. So I think that those are really really good brushes for the price. They they feel really nice. They're really really smooth. They're just I think that they're great great brushes. So I would recommend either ColourPop or Real Techniques. Um for beauty blenders, I don't think you necessarily need to spend the money on an actual beauty blender. Um, there's a lot of good options on Amazon. I, I The normal ones I get are like 5 for like $8. So you do not need to go and spend the $20 on one beauty blender. Because let's face it, beauty blenders don't last that long. It doesn't matter how well you clean them. You just should, you know, go... Just throw them away after a little while because for sanitary reasons. So um, I don't think you necessarily need to go to actual beauty blender and get one. You can do the real techniques. You can get some off of Amazon. There's a whole bunch of different options. Eco Tools has another one. So it's kind of just your preference. So I think that the tools just kind of just try them out. But I 
think you don't need a lot. So I think that that's pretty much my recommendations for drugstore makeup. This would be my starting kit. I think this is kind of like perfect. This is my everyday makeup, but this is a good starter kit. Not too expensive, but really good products. So if you enjoyed this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, I would love for you to join the channel. So please make sure to sus subscribe and ring that bell for notifications when I upload. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Thanks.